Hey guys, uh, back again. I'm in Las Vegas. I just want to show you guys the new rig with the uh, aluminum camper shell that I acquired. It's uh, it's pretty neat. I'll give you guys the walk around to the front from the sides. Um, I traded my triple axle equipment trailer for it, and this is all aluminum with some bondo around the sides and the guy was a professional painter and he just got into aluminum welding so this was i think his first project or his second project i'm not sure but um to give you guys an idea he built this little cubby hole just for a backup camera which is pretty neat and then he built this for a generator that was completely that's uh that's smoky it was uh, completely um, airtight, but um, we had to drill holes here and there and there just to get this thing to bolt on right. But uh, it's pretty neat. Probably end up doing something with that for a story or whatever. And then we put this on here for temporary. Um, oh, just so you know, these windows are one-way windows, and they are fully tinted. You can't see the inside, which is nice. And uh, let's see. so that thing's pretty hard to open unless you use two hands. This is the inside, it's fully insulated. Um, this is the window on the inside. I don't know what type of material this is that he used to uh, block it, but I just took a razor blade and cut this out so we could see the window. Um, other than that, I mean, all the other windows are fine, it just opens up and just typical stuff fully insulated and then this is the inside it's all aluminum rails it's it's pretty neat in here check it out so he fully insulated this and in what looks to be boat leather or some type of texture and then underneath is also fully insulated all the way in and out and he put these two windows in here. He's got these rods that he built. And this looks like a coat hanger. It's not strong enough to do pull-ups on. Unless I would have tried. And that's the tongue. Um, this is his bed that he made. We'll probably end up changing that and figure something out with it. This is interesting. He built this for ventilation. This goes up and lets air in and out. So just in case carbon dioxide from the generator or... He's got candles, low oxygen, whatever. So we'll figure something out with that. And then um, he had this window that was here. That's my truck window that he had to bust out because he shut the door. And at one point, let the camera acclimate. This was facing down and it locked shut when he was driving, it vibrated. So he had to go outside shake the doors and try and get this thing to unlock for him that didn't work so he had to break the window which is pretty neat because uh it lets a lot of air in it's a good airflow to that spot up there but um that's the rig so far i can stand up in it i'm six four which is great uh, i can lay down fully without touching which is a plus because you know i'm huge and nothing really can fit me so I'll let you guys know when I uh, get finished with the construction. I'll take some pictures and videos along the way and let you guys see it. Thanks.